Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out our last Dev Channel Insider Preview build for this year, build 23606. And this will be the last flight until January of next year, 2024. So obviously Microsoft winding things down now for the holiday season. And just to have a look what's new and add a couple of changes and improvements in this last flight for 2023. Now, not too much actually going on um, in this final build of the year, but nonetheless, um, changes and improvements. And one I have spoken about previously is that Microsoft is in the process of deprecating older, more legacy apps in Windows 11. And they are transitioning Windows 11 users from speech recognition, which is a classic voice command feature, and moving Windows 11 users onto voice access, which is a more modern voice command feature to help you interact with your PC and dictate text. And I have posted on this previously, but um, in the dev channel um, for this week, there's now a dialogue, as we can see, that will pop up when Windows speech recognition is opened, directing you to try voice access. And Microsoft says they've also added a banner similar to this um, on the settings accessibility speech page as well. So this is just another indication that Microsoft is debloating Windows 11 a little bit further, which I always think is a good idea, and um, deprecating another legacy feature of the OS. Now, I've moved on to another one, and this is the second change and improvement, where they are beginning to roll out a change that renames the phone link settings page under settings, Bluetooth, and devices to mobile devices. And as part of this change, a new section will appear for allowing a PC to access mobile devices, as we can see in this uh, section here at the top. This section currently does not introduce anything new, um, according to Microsoft, and they say they will have more to share in a future flight. So obviously, Dev Channel is still early days, so there's a bit of work to do still on that feature. And that's the changes and improvements, really what's new. But we also get two fixes for the File Explorer, which I always say in Windows 11 is a good thing. And I'm still waiting, just on a side note, for Microsoft to fix this white flashbang in the File Explorer when I open a new tab and actually open up the File Explorer. But nonetheless, they have fixed an underlying issue, they say, causing the details pane in File Explorer to unexpectedly take keyboard focus sometimes. And they also say they fixed an issue uh, causing File Explorer to crash when accessing or scrolling through the gallery. And I always say any crash fix that rolls out uh, is a nice move in the right direction in my personal opinion. And then just to mention this last uh, fix, uh, they fixed a high hitting tab tip.exe crash when trying to use pen input in the previous flight. And then because it is early days in the dev channel, we get a couple of known issues which is common in these early preview builds. So that's it, that's what's new in this final dev channel build for 2023, build 23606. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.